What's going on YouTube peoples? I've been off of YouTube for a while. I haven't had a chance to upload a video. Today, I got a guest. It's Ben. Say hello, Ben. Hey. And I'm showing him how to pull stuff out of the trash can and fix it, like I always do. Passing it on. So right here we got us a little electric razor scooter and today bandwidth benny here why well, i call you bandwidth benny because i'm always loud <laughs> no because you're always using up all my internet yes. all the time with three devices going i know well what are you going to do this thing today you're going to start tearing apart learn a little bit about how electricity works and stuff nice all right let's get after it all right, this is gonna be your little project, so go ahead and get your screwdriver and start taking them screws out that full pan there so we can get to the electronics and figure out what's going on. Is it coming loose for you? I'm not excited about There you go. Bruh. Uh oh. There you go. Got you a scooter jack stand. Sit that'll help you out here. Put that, put that, board, put that board underneath of Well, it might be a little too tall. Yeah, maybe. It's a little more stable. All right, you got all the screws out. Good, good, good. Here, pick up the. Uh, well, it's time. I'm gonna hold this thing steady for you. Now pull that whole gray piece off. There it is. There we go. We got the battery in there. How's it looking there? Covered in spider webs and just... Well, that's how it is sometimes. But that's, that, ain't, that ain't a big deal. Yeah, but this thing definitely looks like it's broken or something. It might be broken. We're going to find that out. Here we've got the little... See the little electric motor? Yes. And the chain? Yeah. <laughs> like, a, like a bike. And the switch. And all the wires. So we're going to check all this stuff out. It looks like you need to get your screwdriver back out. Take these two guys out. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty easy now. All right, pull the battery. Start trying to pull the battery out. Can you get it? I'll hold this for you. Be careful. There's wire stuck to it. Oh boy, it's got a little weight to it, don't it? It does. Just turn around and set it back right here. Let me see it. Let's just sit it like this for the time being. So we're gonna have to take uh, and do something with these terminals in here in the end. Yeah, because how are we supposed to get out of that? Let's test everything else. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure this battery is dead. Yes. But we need to test all the electronics. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna run some jumper wires from a car battery battery because you notice it says, where's it? I saw it. See it says 12 volts? Mm -hmm. See right here? It says 12 volts. That big car battery over there? Yeah. Is also 12 volts. Now, obviously, you can't ride the scooter with a big 12-volt battery, but for testing purposes, we can run some wires over here to these wires and see if the whole system works and find out if it's just a battery, right? Yes. Right on. Let's, let's get on that. All right, buddy. See right here? that It's got that goobly goop on there. I don't know. It won't come off, so we're going to put new terminals on this at the very least. So go ahead and clip that thing all the way at the end right there. As close as you can. Yeah, right there is perfect. Give it a, give it a little... Give it a little squeeze. There you go. All right, now hit the ground wire down there and do the same thing. Yep. Boom! Okay, cool. All right, we got some, some test wires. And you know what this thing is, Ben? Mm, it's, um, a, uh, it's something to measure volt and others. Correct. Like, you did good. It's a voltmeter. Now, we may not have to use this thing today, but I still got it anyway. Main thing we're going to do right now is hook these wires up to these wires. Now, this is the way electricity works. You know how you got a, look at the old battery. Yes. See, it's got a plus and minus on it? Mm -hmm. Well, pretty much, in yeah. general, if you put a component, whether that be a light bulb or 
a motor or anything electronic that you want it to work and you put it between you know one side to the positive one side to the negative it's going to work but that's a little more sense it's not going to work it'll actually a motor will run backwards Correct. If you put wait, it backwards. Wait, 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 which means the drive will be reverse and, and reverse will be drive. Sort of, yeah. You're getting the concept, but in basics, you know, it just goes from one side to the other. Okay. Well, let's go get that battery over there. Take that big battery over there. And let's get it hooked up. All right. You ready to hook it up? Mm -hmm. You're going to do it. Right? Right on. Okay. So, the red one right here, that's the, which one is that? But is it positive or negative? It's positive. Nice. So hook it up. Mm. Can't find it. Oh yeah, that's got the thing. You got to squeeze it in the right spot because you can't see it. The squeezer on it. That'll do. Yeah, just click it right on that. It won't. There you go. Uh. All right, now make sure that's not touching anything yet. No. Now, this goes on this side and you can see it, so you can clamp it a lot easier. That is correct. You got a little clampy poo there. Yep, all right, and you make sure these two don't touch. Make sure they don't touch. They're fine right there, okay? Actually, I think you need to get a better bite. You see how that's hooked up? You wanna get a, a good bite on that metal. Because You've only got like three wires touching. There you go. Like that. Like that. There we go. There we go. That's a lot better. All right. Now make sure the these don't touch. And which one's the which one goes where? You know um, the deal, right? The negative goes to a negative right here and plus is right here. So okay. this goes right here. Yeah. Yep. It's hard to clamp down though. No, you're not gonna clamp there. Remember, you're gonna use these. Well, we're gonna use some uh, some pliers just just for testing purposes. So just do this right here. Let me hold it up there for you. Now I'll give it a nice little clamp there. And then just um, kind of like that. You may have to adjust it. Yeah, it's not adjusted. Back it out, son. All right, how you feel about it? We got it all hooked up. We got some vise grips. Mm -hmm. Nothing's touching. You have nothing touching. All right, let's do some testing. And they're not going to touch as much as normal. Because well, it shouldn't move around that much. It's just for testing, so we'll, we'll be fine. Yep. So, turn the switch on. Remember the switch? See, see if everything lights up. Nice. We got, we got, some, uh, got some power going to it now. All right, just hit the button. Yeah. No. Got nothing. You know what I think you got to do on these scooters? I think you got to get them moving first. Mm -hmm. And then hit the button. So, let's see what happens. So... You don't got don't have your finger on the button, right? Don't touch it. Okay, let me see if I can make it do it. You ready? Why not? Hit the button. There it goes. What do you think? We think we got a decent scooter to work with? Yes, because if you can work with a car battery with 12 volts, it, it can work with a scooter battery with 12 volts. That is correct. All right, let's get some doing some installations. What do you say? Okay, now we know the rest of the thing works, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So all we really need is a battery, correct? Yep. And a charger. Well, I anticipated that because anytime you get some out of junk out of that's going in the garbage can, that's electric. You can kind of bet the battery's gonna be bad. So there you go. Got you a new battery. That is $17 off Amazon right there. Which is not much for a small battery. No, it's not, right? Yes. Because a whole pack of batteries from, from Walmart costs about $24. Yeah, stuff's going up, don't it? It might that may have gone up. I ordered that it's, back it's, three or four months ago. It's inflammation. Uh, infl you mean inflation. Yeah. It's inflation. Be careful with this thing. It's in a highly contained box and all the guys I think feel so smooth. Let me just Carefully there you go. flip it over and then. What you got there? Boy, it's got some paperwork with it. Like it's safe. Yeah, it ain't got all that. It's, it's good. It's good to go. So, what we got? Oh, look, one of the little terminal covers has already come apart. Well, what we got here? Tell me what you're seeing here. Um, well, I see that there's also a positive and negative. 
That's correct. So and I see that I'm pretty sure the inside is openable. Mm -hmm. Now, how was this thing laid in here? Um, how was the old one put in there? Um, it was put in by just like attaching these to this and and just. Well, it, well, how was it? Does it go in here like this? No, you have to attach the wires and flip it over. I think. Flip it over. That's what I was looking for. That's so you got to lay it on the side, just like the other one was, right? Because because that's not it's just gonna fit. You have to like flip. So how are we gonna hook these up? Because we cut the ends off. The hole. No, no, I've got something better for you. We got wiring terminals. Look at that thing. What you think of that? Oh, I'm pretty sure that this is what connects. I'm pretty sure this is what keeps this on them. Yep, and you got these pair of pliers right here. Bloop, 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 and it squishes it. So let me show you, okay? Oh, I'm pretty sure this slides in here and then you put these in. That's right. Let me show you how this works, man. So you just stick the, the wire. You got to make sure they make different color ones for different size wires. But this is the size. You just got to check it. This one's perfect. So it slides in there like this. And then you take these pliers. You see how they got a little knot right there? Mm. See that little knot where my finger's at? I don't, I don't know what you mean. You'll see what I'm talking about. So, you're going to do like, put it where that knot is. Oh, oh, now, n n now see, so it so, so holds the wire in place. And it squishes it. And you go, Ugh, like that, and it squishes it. Now look. It's like stuck in there. It. It's, it's like stuck. stuck. Exactly. So, and, and then it connects to this, making it able to just barely touch it. There it is. And and make them not able to touch each other. So you want to put this one right here, flip it over, put this one right there, and flip it over. Call right. All right, we got our terminals on there, so hook them up. Um. Ground to mm, ground and to positive. To, this is starting to squish. Like, and you just slide it on that little terminal there. Look at you. This man's working on his own stuff. There you go. There it is. All right, now do the other one. This is a little easier. Put the light. Oh, the light come on. <laughs> okay. If you did something right, I'm going to cut it off for the time being. <laughs> well, we got a decent connection now. Ow. Ow. It's like squishing my finger. It's like. Well, that's welcome to doing any kind of work with your hands, man. <laughs> My finger. So what do you say, Ben? You want to do a time lapse? We got the battery in there. You want to do a yep. time lapse? Put it back together. Yep. All right. All right. So got it all put back together. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do an in garage test. So be very careful. See what you can do with it. Whoa! Does it work? Yep. Nice. I can feel like it. I can feel like it pulling me, like as it was moving. That's what you want. Yes. So do you want to go um, do some rips in a little bit? Yeah. Nice. So tell me what. Tell the world what you learned today about electricity, and what do you think about one man's junk is another man's treasure? What do you think about that? Kind of cool, and, um, well, I'm Ben, and, um, what I've learned is that scooters are a lot more complicated than they actually look on the outside. Yeah. A lot more complicated. Well, it's electrical, so it's not like a regular scooter, it's just got wheels. Yeah, but a lot more complicated is probably the car. Oh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Cars are, but you gotta learn the basics first, right? Yes, basics, and then professionalism. Well, how does it feel when you take something like this that was going to the trash can and now it works? How does that make you feel? I mean, you did most of it yourself. I did a little bit, but you did yes, most of it. I feel good because then we don't have to just throw this thing away and scrap it because I would like it to like have like a happy, like a happy like twenty or ten years of life. <laughs> oh, so you want a scooter to have a happy life? Yes. Well, you want to have fun riding it too, yes, right? Yes. Yes. I'm probably gonna be happy about that. <laughs> nice. All right. So you want? So let's go do some rips. Yes. All right. Yep. Hey man, let's take the mom mobile right here. I stuck it in the back of the Subaru. The what? The mom mobile. Get in the Subaru. Hey, I just had a good idea, Ben. What? 
So I've got my uh, speedometer app on my phone. What do you think about if we see how fast it'll go to? Yeah, because um, it says it goes about nine, but, but it may go a little over or, or, or a, little. a little less. Yeah, that's what the internet says. So we'll check it out and see if that works, right? Yeah, we'll try it and see if it's good or Go turn it on. There it is. All right, start ripping, see what happens. There he goes. All right, let me get this, uh, let me get this speed app open for you. Let's go reset, reset. There we go, stick that in your pocket. Oh, hit the button though. Stick it right in your coat pocket. And give it a rip, see what happens. Oh, so what's it say? What'd you get? Eight miles an hour max. Eight. Well, that's cool. Well, it, now, well now we learned that usually it won't, it, it usually won't hit nine because I mean, well, it's close enough. That thing may be off a little bit. Yeah, yeah, just a little. Just what? a little, but it, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, you're going to have fun with it? Is it fun? Yes. That's what's up. Go ride it. So, you think we're done here now? Yeah. You think a lot of fun? Mm -hmm. You feel proud of yourself for doing most of that work yourself? Yes. Nice. So, what do we do to end the video? Thanks for watching.